Arva of Norway sent me this pressure washer a few weeks ago to review and there ended up being an issue with it. It kept blowing fuses. It's blown four fuses since I got it. And I'm in discussions with Arva at the moment to try and find out what's going on because apparently they reckon that a few people in the UK have had the same issue with it blowing 13 amp fuses. Now apparently the majority of people that buy this machine have no issues with it at all. So at the moment, Arva are investigating what's going on. I've sent them a few bits of information that I've gathered along the way. But I've got to say that this is by far the best pressure washer that I've used. It's better than the Kata K7. It's a really, really good pressure washer. And it's such a shame that I've not posted the review because I have made a review on this. But I think it's worthwhile posting the review because if you were bought one of these machines and didn't have an issue with it, you would end up with an excellent machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag this bit onto the beginning of the video and I will say that I've been using this all morning and it hasn't blown a fuse and it only blows a fuse on one of my sockets which I find really very strange and of course this is the P80, it's 160 bar, they do a P60 which I think they've had no problems with at all. For now I think I'm going to post the review after this and you guys can have a look at this machine in action because I think it's a brilliant pressure washer. Arva of Norway contacted me about three weeks ago and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing some of their gear. So Arva are based in Norway, it's a family run business, there are 15 people running the business and in that three years they've sold that many machines that every other pressure washer in Norway is now one of their machines which I think is really impressive. The first machine that they've asked me to review is the Master P80. It's a 160 bar pressure washer, 600 litres an hour throughput, it's got a 2800 watt motor it's got a 5 meter power cable and a 10 meter hose so you've got about 15 meters reach with it the pump is all metal with four pistons character have got metal and plastic and these things are designed to last so when you buy this machine you get a five year warranty but I've put a system in place whereas after five years you can buy a service kit and if you're prepared to service or you get somebody to service it for you then they'll extend that by another five years and that goes on up to 20 years so if you're prepared to service it every five years you can get 20 years warranty out of it and they told me that it would be somewhere around 40 pounds for one of the service kits which i think is excellent value for money and means that this has got potential to last you an awful long time so you get a lot more bang for your buck if you look on the side there there's a yellow button that button allows you to retract and extend the stabilizer which is built out of the front of the machine and it's built to stop the machine from being pulled over as you're putting pressure on the hose if you're walking around with the hose which I think is a nice point. If we swing it around to the side there you can see there is another yellow button and if we press that in that allows the handle to extend up or down which makes it much easier to bowl this thing around. So when you're not actually using the washer if you've stopped for five minutes for a coffee or something you can put the gun on the top there in a cradle which I think is a nice feature and then there's a toggle here. This is for the hose reel. Now you can see that the hose reel is restricted to that amount of movement. If I press that toggle across then you get way more movement and it's called a follow me hose reel. So if you're working to the side of the machine the hose reel will swing round to make unreeling the hose quite a bit easier. So in order to unreel the hose you flip this out and then you actually physically pull the handle out which will allow the hose to reel in and out. There is a filtered hose connection there and this is a power switch on and off. All of the Arva gear has got steel reinforced hoses. Now it's a totally different ball game to the Carter hoses which kink and they actually get creases in them and get damaged and they break really easy. This thing is really solid. And the way that this is connected to the gun you can just literally swivel the gun around the hose. So the hose uncoils itself if you're in a tight spot and you're pulling it out it will literally take any kinks out as you're walking around which is a major advantage over the catcher machines. Connect the water hose to the pressure washer. Then I'm going to connect the hose to the lance and the hose just pushes into the gun there. Just leave that on there for now and we'll plug that in. There we go and now I'm going to turn the water on. The next thing to do is to make sure that there's no air in the system so without turning the machine on just press the trigger on the gun and run the water through to make sure there's no air in the system. And as you can see there's nothing coming through there, that's fine, so I'm going to turn the pressure washer on now. So if you're wondering how I have miraculously transported across a patio and it's got sunny, it's because I did this yesterday 
but I never pressed record on my camcorder. But what it will do is let me show you what's coming up later on in the video. And as part of the review you can see that yesterday I cleaned this area of the patio with the P80. So as you can see I've got a lot of patio to power wash and this is just one section. So I think I'm going to start in this area because it will be a great demonstration of how well this machine performs or doesn't perform because it's extremely dirty. So the pressure washer is supplied with two nozzles. This one's called the Vario nozzle and it produces a fan and it's got two settings. It's got a setting of 60 degrees and a setting of 20 degrees. 60 degrees is not too aggressive. It's actually fine for things like wood and that type of thing so long as you're not too close. And 20 degrees that's far more powerful. This is 20 degrees and it's about six inches off the ground. And now we'll flick it over to 60 degrees and hold it the same distance off the ground. You can clearly see a demarcation line between the 20 degrees and 60 degrees. So 20 degrees is much better for hard surfaces and the 60 degrees is for more gentle power washing. Changing the nozzle on this thing is very easy. Just push in, twist it 90 degrees and the nozzle pulls out. This will accept catcher accessories, by the way, it's the same bayonet fitting. So the second nozzle is a turbo nozzle and this is way more powerful than the fans. It is designed for surfaces like this patio. So I'll keep it in one place and you'll see that it draws a circle. Another brilliant feature on this pressure washer is what's called the zoom lens. Now you can see there's a yellow button on the top there. If I press that down and twist this over it allows me to pull this out and extend the lance so that it gives me far more reach. So when you're using this lance you can actually set it to the right length so that you don't end up with rampant backache if you're pressure washing for a long period of time. So I just want to demonstrate another really good feature that this machine has got. If you look at the pressure gun, notice there's a little black section in the handle there. This is called a zero force trigger. Now if I pull the trigger it's just like any other power washer trigger. As in, it's on a spring and as I'm pulling my hand in like this, it's compressing the spring. So if you pull in normally on the trigger like that and then press in the black button, it literally takes all the pressure away from the spring. Which means that if you're power washing for any length of time, you don't get cramp in your hands, which a lot of people suffer from. It will run just under its own weight. It is much, much easier to operate. So these two buttons are a safety lock. If you press this one in, it locks the trigger. Press the other one in and it unlocks the trigger. So that's a nice safety feature. So let's see it in action on a very dirty patio. And the trick to this is to not go too fast and to not go too slow. The reason that you don't want to go too fast is if you go too fast it doesn't have time to clean the entire area and if you go too slow then you're taking too long to clean the patio so it's just getting used to how long it takes. So Arvo were kind enough to send me a patio cleaner and this is their premium patio cleaner. The standard doesn't have this feature here which is a power setting. As you twist the lever to the maximum it moves the nozzles closer to the ground and if you twist it to minimum it lifts them further away from the ground. That is just a way of controlling the pressure.
So you can see it's highly effective at cleaning the slabs very quickly. The one thing it doesn't do is lift off bits of plant and stuff like this. I've got to remove the patio cleaner, put the turbo head back on. So you can see that the turbo head is way more powerful than even the patio cleaner, but it's slower. So as you can see from that, it's a bit of a trade-off with how you want to spend your time, how much time you want to spend and what you've got to clear up. Now if you've got just a dirty patio with not many weeds, the patio cleaner is perfect for that. But if you've got areas on your patio where you've got weeds growing in the cracks and that type of thing, then the turbo nozzle is way better for dealing with them. So you can see what a difference this power washer has made just to this small area of patio. And that was way, way quicker than I'm used to, so I'm very pleased with how quick it's performing. Now the black spots, they're actually black lichen and you will not get rid of those with a power washer. You need to use a chemical like sodium hypochlorite, but you can certainly make your patios look way, way better just by using one of these power washers. And I'm really impressed with the way that performed. I've wrapped up for the day and just look at this for portability. The hose is wrapped in on the hose reel, the zoom lance, the foam cannon, pressure gun and the two nozzles and then the cable all wrapped up and stored on the machine so that is absolutely brilliant that's a fantastic feature the more I use this machine the more I like it I think it's a brilliant piece of kit so I am really impressed with this pressy washer I think it's a smashing piece of equipment I love the hose reel spinning round so that it will follow you around when you're walking around the patio. The zoom lance is a pure joy because it just means that you can take a lot of the back ache out of any long jobs that you're doing. Adjust it to any length that you want. It's simple and effective. I actually like the fact that you can just change the nozzle on the end there for the turbo nozzle and the vario nozzle. The reinforced hose it is brilliant. It feels really good. It's very strong, it doesn't kink, it doesn't crimp. I'm really impressed with that and I think that is going to make life way easier. The fact that it spins around the gun and unravels itself as you're walking around is a major advantage as well. Now I can see why Arva are doing so well in Norway and I think in actual fact they'll do very well in the UK. The fact that it is just a simple but very effective pressure washer with loads of features. You can put all the bits and bobs on the wash washer, carry it around you, there's no cable hanging down lift the handle up and down the fact that you can actually rest the gun on the handle when you're stopping for five minutes is brilliant i just think there's an awful lot of thought gone into this machine and i think arva will do very very well it is just a simple but effective pressure washer and i love the fact that there are no electronics on it it is just basically a very modern old-fashioned washing machine that works really really well so i'm glad that arva have sent me this to review I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.